What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout 3. In the last part, we met this weird doctor who told us that we have to kill a bunch of ants. Um, because he's doing an experiment and stuff like that. He basically genetically um, mutated a bunch of ants. They all went nuts. They have fire powers now. It's uh, it's pretty sick. And now we're, we're killing the ants for him. But we have to leave the queen unharmed. Uh, and if we do that, we should get a pretty sweet reward. So obviously, we will do that. There we go. Alright, pork and beans. Kind of out of food, so okay. That's two out of five down, I believe. Oh god, these these two are ganging up on me here. Alright. Let's play it, uh, play it smart. They're coming for me. Die. Come and get me. You silly, silly ant goose. No, you can't get me from that distance. That won't work. You're gonna have to get a little closer to me. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Come on. He's being very slow, though. He is sure taking his time with this. Come on, guy. Come on, try to kill me. Okay, this is taking way too long, though. All three of them that are there now, actually. Are they killing each other? Is that what's going on here? Oh, now I get it. They just killed one of... They're killing each other. <laughs> Why? Oh, these two are still buddies, though. That's kind of weird how they uh, decided to kill one of their own. And here we go again. They are definitely fighting. Alright, let's switch. That was my mind. I totally forgot I had a mind set up. Are you kidding me? Alright, that was weird. I feel like that should have been way, way tougher than it than it just was, but that's cool though. I'll take it. Uh, see, I want to get that to sixty. Let's get lockpick to actually. Let's get science to fifty. All right, lockpicking to thirty-five. Uh, speech, sneak, I don't even know. Let's get a bit of sneak then. Alright. What are my choices? Okay, so I just got toughness, which uh, will improve my damage resistance. Lead belly. Less radiation from drinking. Probably not really worth it. Gunslinger. Extra accuracy using one-handed weapons. Uh, more caps, bloody mess. Alright, so we only have a few ones that we haven't seen yet. I think we just got lead belly and toughness when I uh, leveled up last time. I think those opened up because I got one extra endurance. Um, I think my best bet right now would be to grab um, either bloody mess for the bit of extra damage or toughness for the damage resistance. I mean, that just seems like a very good choice no matter how you look at it. So we gotta go with that one. Look at that. That was the easiest. I was not expecting it to play out this way, but they just were fighting amongst each other. And honestly, obviously when you fight amongst each other, it's not going to go well. It never goes well. Alright, let's go talk to the doctor because we should be done with this now. And uh, the ants should be, uh, shouldn't be dangerous anymore to the town of Grey Ditch. Not that there's anyone left there. They all died except for Brian. But uh, we did our duty, you know. I think we made the world a better place by doing this this little quest, which was actually pretty tough because we're playing on hard. 
Oh, nope, don't want to wait. Alright, Doc, I did it. What's up, my man? I detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? And my work is done, Doctor. Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. I killed all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Yeah, Thanks you do that. Very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. Okay, so give me the give me the thing, man. How marvelous! Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant mite? I mean, wait. I don't know what my. Um, I'm not there. ready yet. Let's just check my stats here. Perception is six, strength is, is five. I think we definitely want more perception, so that's yes, what did you need? pretty easy choice. How? Give me the ant sight, my How man. Marvelous. Ant sight it is. Hold still, please. You better not do anything funny to me. How are you holding that syringe, man? It's going through your finger. Oh god. Alright, your perception has increased by one and you are now 25% resistant to fire, which is also pretty cool. Wait. Yes, what did you need? Um, what should I do about Brian Wilkes? You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Um, okay, don't you realize you've ruined his entire life? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Wow, man. All right, so can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Okay, so you should have at least told me you were alive. You thought it was alone. I mean, yeah, that's fair enough. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? Okay, so this guy's a jerk. Yes. Um, so what are you going to do now? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. Alright, see you later, buddy. Be ever vigilant. Those from the genus Solenopsis are not to be trifled with. No, they're, they're there to be trifled with. They're just little ants. I don't care about them. I can hear one more crawling around, but honestly, I don't really care. Worst case scenario, that thing will kill the doctor, and I don't like that guy because he's a jerk. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll be I'll be okay. I just want to get out of here and speak with Brian, tell him about this sweet superpower that I just got because of his dad died. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, okay. This place wasn't even that big. It's just like there's ants around every corner. And because of that, you're stuck fighting them. Let's see. I should be up there, I think. Alright, that was good, though. That was a good side quest. Pretty interesting, um... Question on, on ethics, you know? Do you kill all the ants, or do you... Allow this guy to do his dangerous research, which might save lives in the future. I honestly doubt it, but you never know. Nuka-Cola, alright. I'll give one of those to Brian, then he'll feel okay. Then he's probably not that upset anymore. Fallout 3, stop working. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, sorry about that, guys. The game just crashed. Uh, but we're back. Let's see, let's wait like three hours till morning. All right, I don't, I don't like it when it's that dark. All right, okay. Um, what am I gonna ditch? 
I can just ditch. Well, the police baton is actually worth quite a bit. Baseball bat. Oh, that's I've had that since forever. I don't want to just throw it away. Biker goggles. It's worth nothing. Drop it. Um, uh, do we have any? Yeah, that's worth a lot of money. Right, let's drop. Drop a uh, a pilot light. No, that's actually pretty good. Okay, screw it. Let's just drop the pilot lights. Welcome to Grey Ditch. Well, I certainly felt very welcome when I came here. Let me tell you that. Alright, let's talk to Brian. Tell him what happened, and then we have to go and uh, get dog, dog meat back. Wait, is he in this house? Where is he? Nah, he's probably still next to that diner. Yeah. Alright. Man, it's been a while since we arrived here. We've spent a lot of time in Grey Ditch. Now, this is what you call a side quest. It is hot in here. Hey, you're free, man. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do know. So, uh, I'm just glad you're safe. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Um, let me find you a place to live. I mean, we have to, really. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Um, alright. Any idea where I can look for someone to take care of you? Well, Papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. Oh, I know where it is. Alright, gotta go now. You're pretty swell for a grown-up. Yeah, well, you're pretty crappy for a kid. Then again, who likes kids anyway? I dog meat. Your master has returned. I think he was up here, wasn't he? Yep, there he is. What's up, little buddy? Did you miss me? Come on, boy. Uh, good boy. Alright, I don't know if he's happy or not. Let's, uh, let's go. Alright. Let's go, buddy. So, we should probably head back to Mega... Mega... Megaton. Uh, wait, Great Itch, what? Find a home. Are you, we're not done yet. Rivet City's all the way over there. I don't even know how to get there yet. So, that'll be a while before we can actually wrap up this quest. Uh, but for now, let's go back to Megaton, and I'll just sell all this extra crap that I picked up. Uh, sort of reorganize my inventory. And, um... I don't know, I guess I'll just end it here, and then in, in the next part, we can go look for those Meyer Lurks that, that uh, Moira asked for. Hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, well, I'll probably talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.